कस्तूरी दे गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू आईसीसी सिलेबस क्लास सेवन आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग विद बैक्टीरिया इट्स द किंगडम मोनेरा एंड दिस इज the useful bacteria i'm continuing about uh, the useful bacteria the medicines it's used as medicines antibiotics are medicines that can destroy disease causing germs in the body and the bacteria is used in the manufacture of antibiotics such as streptomycin they are killed um, they are used as also as vaccines like polio tuberculosis smallpox etc the water vaccines they are killed or weakened disease causing bacteria which are used in the preparation of vaccines they are used in preventing diseases okay now lactobacillus bacteria this is these are used for curdling of milk that is formation of curd from milk they convert the milk sugar that is lactose into lactic acid giving the sour taste to the curd acetobacter bacteria they ferment fruit juices into vinegar that is acetic acid the tanning it's used as tanning of leather certain bacteria are used in curing of animals hides and skins now retting of fibers jute fibers are separated and made softer by the use of bacteria formation of compost and manure the cow dung horse dung and agricultural waste are subjected to bacterial action which causes their decay and produce very useful manure they are used in production of biogas and gobar gas there are sewage plants in the big cities where they are collected human excreta um, is decomposed by the sewage bacteria the inflammable gas produced in the process is collected for cooking and the liquid and solid products are used as manure the production they are used in the production of vitamins some bacteria live in the large intestine of human beings like e coli and produce vitamins such as vitamin b and k that are needed by the body they are used in the digestion of cellulose bacteria present in the intestines of herbivores like cow and buffalo help in the digestion of cellulose now rhizobium bacteria there's a certain type of rhizobium bacteria which are found in the uh, uh, found in the root nodules that is the small structures swollen structures on the roots of the leguminous plants like the peas beans etc these bacteria trap the nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert into nitrates that is mineral salts which can be easily absorbed by the plants from the soil along with water the bacteria provided food provide food to the host plant and the host plant in turn provides a shelter to the bacteria this kind of relationship where two organisms live in harmony is symbiosis the organisms are called symbionts the nitrifying bacteria certain saprophytic bacteria feed on dead organic remains they act like scavengers help in converting complex food materials into agriculturally useful nutrients like nitrates sulfates and phosphates this way they increase the soil fertility for <coughs> these are excuse me these are done by the nitrifying bacteria okay now the harmful bacteria they spoil they spoil the food food items such as milk meat fish and vegetables get spoiled quickly due to the presence of bacteria tinned and packaged foods tinned and packaged foods uh, should not be consumed after their expiry date as it can be infected by bacteria diseases bacteria are responsible for the number of diseases like typhoid leprosy tb uh, tb that is tuberculosis pneumonia cholera etc now typhoid uh, bacteria is caused by salmonella typhi murium tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis pneumonia by streptococcus pneumoniae cholera by vibrio cholerae and diphtheria by cornibacterium diphtheriae 
now kingdom protesta all also uh, consist of these kingdom protesta also consist of unicellular organisms their nucleus is bound by nuclear membrane that's why they are eukaryotes some are animal like as they do not have do not make their own food like amoeba amoeba and paramecium some are plant like since they have uh, one or more chloroplast and can make their own food using solar energy like euglena and diatoms amoeba one of the simplest animals made up of just one single cell being so small it can be seen only under a microscope found they are found in the ponds ditches and other places with stagnating water the body is irregular shaped now the outer covering of the body is a cell membrane the prominent nucleus a prominent nucleus lies in the center surrounded by the cytoplasm this is a so amoeba structure which is found under microscope we can see this is the cell membrane okay this is the pseudopodia false foot okay this is the cytoplasm this is the nucleus and these are the food vacuoles these two are the food vacuoles and these are contractile vacuoles okay now how does it move the organ of locomotion in an amoeba is a pseudopodia which means false foot and singular it is pseudopodium they are finger like projections formed by the flowing of cytoplasm into these extensions many pseudopodia may be seen projecting out from the body of the amoeba at a time but only one of them extends longer than the others towards the direction it wants to move in this type of movement is called amoeboid movement this is the uh, structure how it moves okay this it extends a pseudopodia and uh, the cytoplasm moves into the, that uh, portion and it starts moving now how does it feed when an amoeba senses food in its immediate surroundings it quickly puts out its pseudopodia and moves toward it on reaching the food particle it extends two of its pseudopodia and it surrounds the food particle the tips of the two pseudopodia fuse together to form a small space within with the food inside it called it's a called a food vacuole um, the cytoplasm secretes digested juices into the food vacuole these act on the food and help in breaking it down into a simple soluble form this soluble form food is absorbed into the cytoplasm where it is stored or utilized for growth and release of energy the undigested food is expelled from the body through the cell membrane digestion occurs only inside a food vacuole to prevent the digestive juices mixing with the cytoplasm this is the this is the uh, uh diagram how does it forms a food vacuole okay when it touches the food it extends its pseudopodia then so, uh, slowly this food pseudopodia joins the two pseudopodia joins and makes a food vacuole inside the food vacuole lies the food where it uh, uh, secretes the digestive juices and digests the food now how does it excrete Ammonia is the main waste product that is formed in the body of the amoeba. This is eliminated from the body through the general body surface by simple process of diffusion. Excess of water from the body of the amoeba is collected in the contractile vacuole. The contractile vacuole expands where there is water in it. and the shrinks where the water is released into the surrounding the nitrogenous waste are also given out directly through the cell surface see this is the uh, diagram where the it, uh, uh, the excretion takes place like that in the contractile vacuole here is the contractile vacuole where is there, there is water okay now it comes this uh, slowly moves towards the cell membrane and um, it uh, expels the water by diffusion okay uh, and this shrinks in size okay now how does it respire in amoeba exchange of 
gases occurs through the cell membrane oxygen from the surroundings water diffuses into the cytoplasm and carbon dioxide from the body of the amoeba diffuses out into the surrounding water that is the diffusion is the main uh, process by which exchange of gases takes place now how act how does it reproduce Amoeba reproduces by splitting into two. In a full grown amoeba, first the nucleus divides into two and then the rest of the cell divides in a way that each half gets one daughter nucleus. That's called binary fission. The two daughter amoeba live independently, grow to full size and divide again. When the environmental conditions are unfavorable, ponds go dry or it is too cold or too hot, amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia and turns into a small rounded speck. Okay, at this time, amoeba secretes a thick wall around itself that is the cyst. Okay, reproduction occurs in the cyst by multiple fission. Okay, in the cyst form, it the multiple fission occurs, but in ordinary form, uh, when it uh, is ordinary conditions are uh, favorable conditions are there, then it reproduces by binary fission. Inside the cyst, the nucleus divides several times to form many daughter nuclei. Each daughter nucleus is surrounded by some cytoplasm to form amoebulae. Each amoebula then develops into a young amoeba. Okay, now this is the end of Kingdom Protista. Uh, I'll continue in the next video with Kingdom Fungi. Okay, now please uh, do subscribe if you like the video. And if you have any doubts, please let me know at kasturi74 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.